Okay, what we're going to be showing today is doing a pulse unit fluid change using the VC-101-2A. It's a very simple process. We'll start off by pulling uh, the front cover off to allow access to the pulse unit. Spin this off here. Take our pulse unit and pull out our fill plug here. In this case, using some of them may be different. In this case, we'll just use a standard screwdriver to remove the fill plug. Okay, what we will do here is back off the torque adjuster all the way counterclockwise. So we are now ready for extracting uh, of the fluid out of the pulse unit using a VCE-1-1. You can also use a syringe to do a simple uh, hand extract. We'll stick this in here and turn on the unit. Very quick, it's only going to take just a matter of seconds to extract the fluid out of the pulse unit. Once all the fluid is extracted, we'll take it into the fill tank or the VC 101 2 We are now ready to put the pulse unit into the vacuum fill tank. We'll set it down inside with the fluid level being at least one inch below your front plate or the top of your liner casing assembly. With the lid in place, we are now ready to turn the vacuum unit on, making sure that we are in auto sequence and the unit itself is on. We press the start button and have a four and a half minute cycle time. Uh, once the vacuum unit is finished, you'll notice that both lights are out, the vacuum and the plate lowered light are out. We are now ready to remove our pulse unit from the vacuum tank. We are now ready just to extract the little bit of fluid left on the top of the front liner plate here to allow for a fluid draw. The fluid level should be flush or level with the front plate or the top of the threads in the front liner plate. We are now ready to do a fluid draw on this particular unit. Once you have looked at the fill and draw sheet to obtain the proper draw amount, you are ready to draw the fluid out of the pulse unit. On this particular tool, the fluid draw is 7 tenths of 1 cc. We are now ready to install the fill plug into the pulse unit install the pulse unit into the tool and we are ready to test. And that is a complete oil change using a VC-101-2A.